Reading about you, uh, it's always the same thing comes up all the time, and it's about uh, you being a vegetarian, and and this is the big thing because you've been also an activist, mm -hmm. uh, and you've even been arrested for that. Mm -hmm. uh, is is that is that out of self control that you are a, a, a vegetarian, or is it? Uh, did you did you at one point just decide that no more meat, or have you always been, or how is it, how is that? Well, when I realized that I didn't, you know, when the word vegetarian came into my um, when I became aware of the fact that you could be a vegetarian, I suppose during the hippie days and when I was about 16, 17, I just thought, well, why would I want to be part of that if I don't have to? Yeah. And really the, the whole, the question of meat eating, now, you know, people talk about that they're environmentalists, but you can't be an environmentalist if you're a meat eater. I mean, it's, it's just a total hip, hypocrisy. Um, and you actually can't be a humanitarian either when you're causing all that suffering and 64 billion animals a year killed for food that you don't need and it's unhealthy. I mean there is no pro argument for meat eating. So for me that's not, it's not a discipline or self-control, it's just common sense and I just like things to make sense in my life. So, so do you, do you um, divide people in, into meat eaters and, and vegetarians? Totally. I only see meat eaters and non meat eaters. I don't see the rest of it. You know, I, the rest of it to me is all secondary. So, so. <laughs> the meat eaters. Uh huh. Are they. Uh, would, you, would you preach to a meat eater? I mean, if, if we were having dinner. No, not unless. Could no. I eat meat? Uh, or would you sort of. I probably go? would excuse myself. Okay. <laughs> I'll make a lot of it. <laughs> uh, no, but I see. Not, but not for any other reason other than I would find it so unappetizing, I wouldn't want to be around it. And, you know, if I'd invited you for dinner, I would have real trouble paying for the meal because I don't want to pay no, but the I could, I could pay. I could pay. That's not uh, yeah, but, you know, already, the, you know, it's already, you know, it's, it's a deal breaker for me. You know, I don't want to go out with you. So, so you couldn't be in a relationship <laughs> with, a, with a mediator? No. Um, uh, uh, I mean, I ha you know, I have gone there because they lie when they're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. You know. <laughs> but are you? Are you like? Uh, are I you... mean, it's not really a. Th for me, it's just principles. I yeah. mean, I think. In my life, the thing I have to live. I live by my principles. I, I don't see what the point of a life is if you're not living by your principles. And if you don't have principles, then I wonder what, what have you got? I mean, really, what else is there in life? So, you know, it's, if you have a code that you live by, then that's important to you. And you just, and, and I don't talk about it unless someone brings it up first. No, I, which I, you I have. brought it. Yes, absolutely, I did. Yeah, because I, I, I think I if you give advice to someone and they haven't asked for it, they're going to hate you for it. So the best thing yeah, is to I'm, wait I'm, until they invite. And I think this is so interesting because I, every time I, I meet a, a vegetarian and a, around the table, mm -hmm. and this comes up, it's like it's so provoking you know, to, to, to the mediators. Every they time are that I sit down, to, uh, having I a never million, bring it up. I never bring have, it up. What kind of shoes do you have? What kind of, you know? Okay, well. Um, yeah, I know. I, I'm I've sorry heard about every shoes. argument. <laughs> but as soon as I sit down in a restaurant and I'm just about to tuck in, the first thing I here is someone will say, so does that mean you don't eat fish? And I'm like, oh, do, you, do we really have to talk about this now? But if they want to talk about it, then get ready. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the fish? You don't eat fish? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I really no, I don't. No, no. I see it. To me, it's very simple. You know, fish is just like this little guy, and he's only got this small little body. And he's trying to get away from you. Yeah. I feel that if I'm in this superior position and I can dominate something and they're trying to get away, I let them go. Uh, are you like, uh, like uh, I know uh, Paul McCartney, when he goes on tour, there's no meat mm -hmm. for, for even the roadies. Yeah, they won't that's get good. meat. Would you do the same? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because I'm paying for it and yeah. I can't pay the slaughterman. That goes against my principles. I can't do it. I I mean, I've been on a lot of tours, and you'll find that, you know, most people say, oh, I, this is good, I like this. They just haven't tried it. And I think men are, men have a reputation of being courageous, and you'll find that usually men aren't very confrontational, and they don't want to 
you know, really stir it up. Men are quite, like a man will never say to another guy, turn it down. I've never met a man in a band who will tell another man to turn down. Mm -hmm. That's why it gets so loud. Because everyone's just cranking <laughs> it up so they can hear themselves. Whereas I walk in, I go, can you guys turn down? They go, yeah. <laughs> you know, but men can't do that. To, they can't say it to each other. I don't know why. Um, but I, what and I they, found, they wouldn't be confrontational but with the no. food. As a, no, no, but it, but they will say, "Oh, I prefer this." They'll say it, you know. What, but you have to kind of lead them to it, like a dumb animal, and then they'll go for it. <laughs> but don't you? Don't you think? Uh, don't, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just I, curious. I didn't know I was funny. Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you were. I was just thinking of the next question because I, I I'm. I find this very interesting because it's. I, I find it a different. I, I eat meat from time mm -hmm. to time. I, I was now, starting to figure that out. Yeah, I, I, and uh, well, I had to admit it, uh -huh. and because I might eat something afterwards. Uh, <laughs> but but the, the thing is that I, I find it, it might be a difference uh, between taking a, a life from an animal uh -huh. and taking a life of the animal, uh, a killing an animal. Like, uh, how it's, it, don't you find it important how they treat animals? Of course. While they're alive. If you it's have absolutely. wild, if you, if you shoot a wild animal, it had a fantastic life. Well, who, the, who are you to shoot it? <laughs> uh, I'm the oh, hungry oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know. From the caveman, you know? Oh, come the on, every, you know, come, come on. We have supermarkets. I mean, that's just, you know, that's, that's a nonsensical line of, uh, you yeah. know, don't, don't even go there. Nobody needs to kill animals. Perhaps not. However, I'm not a pacifist necessarily. And if, if you were trying to kill me, I would defend myself. So I do think there's always a case for killing. Absolutely. I would, I, I would never try to kill you. You don't know yet. I'm not, not that we, hungry. You know, we, I'm we're not we're that just hungry. getting started here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, the, the thing about, you know, everything that lives, lives mm. off of something else that mm. lives. Everything. Mm. Everything in creation. And it's just, I think it's your responsibility as a human being to decide where, how, how much mercy can you show while you're alive? Because one day you're going to be asking for mercy and how much did you give? And I think that's something you should be thinking about every day of your life. Final word from you. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's so great to have you here on the show. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh,